As you may know, I recently did a mini-series in which I went through every NHL team and described my favorite player. And in this one, in case you didn't see the title, I'm going to be doing the exact opposite and living a little on the negative side in this video. And in part 2. No, not every single player on this list I would say I despise, therefore I'm going to do something a little extra just so we're all on the same page here. And with that, here are the players that I hate the most from every team. Well, let's begin with, as I mentioned before, I don't particularly care for Anaheim, as there are a select few on the roster that I'm not too fond of. Perry just so happens to be at the top of that list for more reasons than one. When I think of Corey Perry, I think soccer player. A guy that's, more often than not, over-dramatizing everything and, while doing it, makes sure to whine to the guys wearing the black and white stripes, looking for any sympathy. He's a guy that's also delivering frequent cheap shots and is constantly being petty while deliberately trying to be a pest. As the hate meter clearly shows, Grabner isn't that high on my hate list. In fact, it took some pondering on my end with this one, considering I'm not following the Yotes that closely to begin with. But when Grabner played in the Metro Division, I just remember how much of a pain he was to face, and that's just a testament to the skill that the Austrian forward possesses. Okay, so if you're a millennial like me, chances are you played an N64 at some point. And I know this seems like a tangent, but when I think of Chara, I think of a bully. A bully that's bigger than everyone else and pushing the smaller guys around, just like this fictional character did. But for over 20 years, the defenseman has played a relentlessly brutal style of game that knows no bounds. Even though he's gained much respect over the years, he's still considered, in my opinion, a dirty player. So I really wish Brian Gianta was still playing for the Sabres, because that would be perfect. But even still, I had to pick someone, so I decided to go with Oposo. Back when he was with the Islanders, I remember what a terror he was to play against. I mean, just to give a single example, I remember when he netted a solid 4 goals against Pittsburgh. But at the same time, he doesn't seem to put up much of a fight when it comes to the extracurriculars. Before I really get into the reasoning behind Kachuk being here, might I just add that the whole mouth guard thing he does is pretty annoying. I mean, I remember when Patrick Kane had these tendencies and thank god he grew out of it, so maybe he will. Now that I got that out of my system, I do have to give this guy some credit for how he's been a thorn in Drew Doughty's side since being drafted. And that's the main reason why he's not a number 5, because for me, it's the lesser of the two evils, if you know what I mean. But to sum it up, I feel like Kachuk just doesn't have the proper respect that he should for other players, especially veterans. One though that got the last laugh was Ryan Kessler after he knocked the young gun's mouth guard to the ice with his fist. A guy that's generally the embodiment of toughness, Folk has been a leader in Raleigh. And really, he's not that high on my hate list at all. Same thing goes with any other player on his team. I chose Falk because I remember how frustrating it's been in the past for me watching him defend and even score, as the Canes are a team that mine routinely faces. Again, this one isn't personal, it's just logic. Really not much of a reason behind this one either, other than Seabrook is pretty overrated these days. Not that I hate the guy, but it's just frustrating seeing him taking so much of the cap up over the years and not giving the Hawks anything substantial in return. Like, I could understand a blue liner like Burns or Hedman getting paid this much, but not a guy that's putting up less than 30 points a season.
The lone goalie on this list, I chose him because I've never really been a fan of the netminder. Nothing personal, just he doesn't seem like a goalie you'd want to be counting on. I don't really see him as bad, but just really average, and in the NHL, you can't have average. Dubinsky. I don't know about you, but that name alone is just kind of repulsing. Anyways, getting to the point here, while the forward is effective at the style of game he's played for over a decade, part of it is getting under the skin of players while simultaneously crossing the line. I'd like to think there's a mutual respect between a certain amount of players in the game that if you respect others, then in turn you'll be respected. But in my opinion, Dubinsky isn't one of them. Well, I could probably just say the finger guy, that'd just be too easy. Regardless, I'm sure someone is going to bring it up, so here I am, acknowledging the fact that Crosby packed part of the guy's finger off. Okay, now that that's out of the way, this is a guy that clearly doesn't care about the safety of other players. I mean, coming up behind players, hitting them when they're vulnerable, I mean heck, Sedin even had a history of back issues, but that didn't stop this guy. Just like his old man, the younger Bertuzzi is known for his dirty and cheap style of play. A guy that would rather sucker punch you than fight with dignity. He's obviously a great player though, and I'm not ignoring it, but he's just so annoying to play against because of his lack of sportsmanship on ice. He's still young yet though, so maybe with some age, he'll come out of his old man's shadow and show a little class. I feel like not a lot of people are going to disagree with me here on picking Lucic as he's not only on one of the worst contracts and underperforming, but he's also kind of a goon. I mean, as a professional, the forward has laid out his fair share of dirty hits, sucker punches, and headshots. He's a guy that you don't want to upset. Let's just put it that way. So I feel like Florida is just all around one of those teams that seems to be made of decent players, and not only in skill, but also class. But, especially prior to signing with Florida, Brower has made it known by his play on ice that he could cross the line. And he did just that on several occasions over the years. Therefore, he's not my favorite guy on the roster. Not trying to offend any Kings fans here, because I know the guy can play, but sometimes he just acts like a 14 year old girl before that time of the month. Like I don't know how to put it any other way. He's been shown multiple times lashing out and throwing temper tantrums. But besides being in desperation of some idol, the defenseman isn't immune to dishing out a less than wholesome play either. Another team that I really have no reason to hate on is the Minnesota Wild. But when I think of Dumba, I just think of overrated. I kinda can't help it. I mean, he's obviously not the only one on the team to have a bloated contract, so here's another reason. You just naturally lose respect for players that are delivering hits that could easily injure. I feel like Dumba has been walking that fine line for a while now, and one day, it might just catch up with him. 